What's up guys, this is Joseph with Slideo Studios. Today we are going to be reviewing this. This is the Micro Live from Digital Photo. It's a blimp for your shotgun microphone. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So before we get started in the review, I kind of want to talk about what's included with this kit. So you get the actual cover for the shotgun microphone, you get the dead cat, which is used to prevent the wind, and you also get the actual handle. So you have a fully metal handle, and you also have these Rykoats style um, shock mounts. Of course, the shotgun microphone is not included, so just to make sure the XLR cable is included, which is a nice addition. So starting off with the build quality of this thing, this thing just feels really nice. The plastic itself does bend, but it's it's a very nice flexible plastic. It does uh, it it still springs back into place. Nothing about this feels low quality at all. The handle itself feels very nice. The shock mount is very good, and uh, and overall it just feels really nice. You do have a nice metal stand adapter here. Uh, most of it is plastic, but it's made out of a very durable plastic and the critical parts are made out of metal, including the stand adapter and the little handle over here. Um, the whole frame over here is actually made out of metal as well and so are these knobs to tighten it. So overall, the quality is really, really nice on, the, on this and on the actual uh, microphone cover. Now on the... Dead cat is where we start running into problems. First thing with this dead cat, you can kind of see it over here. It kind of goes everywhere. It makes a really huge mess. Um, they're not very well glued together, so it kind of just comes off. And um, and it's a very it's all over my hair now. It's a, it's a very very tight fit around the actual cover, so you might have some challenge putting it on. And this part over here to tighten it. Um, this locking mechanism has already failed on me, so you can see that it's open. And yeah, so not the best build quality with the dead cat, but the good thing is this you can get a um, you can get a you can get other kinds of uh, dead cat covers that will probably fit this microphone better. So in terms of the functionality of this, you are able to adjust the actual distance of these shock mounts so you can fit many different shotgun microphones. I am using the Rode NTG2 and it just fits really nicely as it is. I didn't have to make any other adjustments. Um, the, um, the vibration dampening is really well, as you can see, it does a very good job at reducing the vibrations and, um, and these just feel really strong. Um, I have not had any issues with sagging or with a shotgun microphone. With cheaper shock mount designs, sometimes it could it could it could bend slightly because of the weight. This doesn't have that problem. It holds in place really nicely. Now on the XLR cable, it is also really really well made. It's not your typical cheap XLR cable, and it fits really really nicely. It clips in nicely, and uh, and the XLR cable length is, in my opinion, just perfect. It is perf and everything just feels really sturdy. This part, um, this XLR connector also has its own strain relief system, so you don't have to worry about this coming off or anything. And in terms of being able to tighten this, it's just really simple. You're able to loosen it to move it back and forth, and you can tighten it here. You're also able to, there are clicks in place. You're able to move this up and down like this. You can also adjust the tension on the side here, and you can make it really loose. Um, of course, you probably don't want that, so you can make this really, really tight. You can also loosen this whole thing and it just moves completely freely. There's a lot of functionality with this, just makes uh, everything really, really easy. And, um, and you know, you're not really guessing on how to move, how to maneuver this around. In terms of the actual, the actual cover itself, it fits on really nicely like this. And, and you just tighten these knob and it basically clamps it down in place. So it's a, it's a really nice cover. So after you tighten these together, then you put on the two caps as I like, to like, as I like to call them. And it basically makes a nice cover around the XLR connector as well. The bottom ones, the back one seems to be a little bit challenging to put, put in because you have to turn it in the opposite direction. 
Yeah, sometimes you just gotta like push it around. So the bottom one is a bit challenging to put in, but once you have it in, it's very, very secure. So you don't really wanna use the dead cat all the time because it does alter the uh, clarity a little bit. And we'll see that in an example later. So for indoor shots and stuff, this is typically what you would use. Um, but um, if it's really, really windy or it, basically every time you're outdoors, you will have to use the dead cat. Um, and the actual knobs here, they do, there are these pull knob designs, which allows you to rotate them. So you, you don't have to make, so you can make sure they're not in the way when you put on the dead cat. And like I was saying before, the dead cat is a bit challenging to put on to the actual mount. Um, but once you have it on, it's really secure and uh, everything just feels really nice. The handle itself also acts as a shock absorber, as you can see as I'm moving it around. And on the bottom here, of course, you would connect to your uh, boom pole. It is not a 3 8 adapter, so if, so if your boom pole uses a 3 8 you're gonna have to get an extra adapter that kind of extends out. So yeah, that is something to note. And of course, having the XLR connector here is just really, really convenient. And everything just feels very, very sturdy. There's nothing loose about it. It has a very good use of plastic and metal. Everything just feels really, really nice. So now that you have a basic idea of the build quality, let's get onto the important part, which is the actual test. All right, so now we're testing the Rode NTG2 microphone with the mic clip that it comes with and also the foam filter. We're gonna start off with some small handling noises. So I guess you could just move the, yeah, do that. We're gonna do turning shots as if you're doing interview between two people. So do more of the turning, I suppose. All right. Now we want to take this a little bit extreme and uh, just shake the mic, like just shake it slowly, yeah, like that. All right, so you should be able to hear how that sounds. All right, now let's keep this a little bit more realistic for indoor shots, so let's just do a walking shot. So, so we're talking as we're walking forward, you're hearing how my voice sounds versus the vibration that it's picking up. Now we're walking backwards <laughs> and now, <laughs> And now um, I and then now we can do the full wind test where you just move it like yeah like that. Do you hear that on your headphones? I think yeah. Yeah. You can hear it. Yeah. Can hear it a little bit. Yeah. So now we have the blimp setup, same microphone, Rode NTG2, and we don't have a foam filter inside, so this is just purely the blimp and a shock mount system. So just like before, we're gonna start off with small handling noises. So just move your hand around. Yeah. All right, turning shots. So this is of course in, a, in an interview, so we're just gonna be turning it and hearing how that sounds. All right, now we are going to be doing just light vibrations, you know, just shaking it around. All right, and then let's, uh, let's do a walking shot, I suppose. Yeah, let's do a walking shot. So this is how it sounds like as we're walking forward and as we're walking back, you really should be able, able to hear a comparison and then do the wind shot. So, I mean, the, whatever this test is called. <laughs> Almost nothing. Really? Okay, yeah. well that's a good test. This <laughs> makes all the difference. All right, so right now we're in an outdoor environment testing out the blimp, um, and there is some sounds and some a slight breeze going on, and right now it's just the blimp itself. We're going to actually put the dead cat on, and then you can see, you can hear how the dead cat affects the clarity of the sound. Of course, in this in the not super windy environment, you don't need a dead cat. Most situations you don't, but we're just gonna test out so you can hear how it affects the sound. <laughs> All right, so this is with the dead cat on, and hopefully this gives you a nice comparison in terms of audio quality. It sh would affect the high frequency a little bit, so you might not be able to get as clear of a sound, but it shouldn't do too much. So for, like I said, what I would typically recommending a film shoot is to just have the dead cat with you just in case if it's super windy but if it's not then I would not recommend using it just so you get the most clear sound and usually the blimp will work for 90% of your outdoor situations. So yeah, as you can see, overall it sounds really clear, um, and uh, and even with the dead cat on, it does, like I said, it does alter the frequencies a little bit in the high end, so you're not going to get the same clarity, but it sounds, it still sounds really, really clear, and especially with the NTG2's cardio pattern, 
It is also really good at rejecting background noises and there's basically no handling noises at all even when we're moving the mic from side to side or from the bottom to the top there is a little bit but it's nothing it's not, nothing that's really really stand out in your recording and the dead cat of course is super effective and it looks really really sick too um, which is also a nice plus so yeah, that's the Myco Life Blimp for you. It works really, really nicely. And I, so far, I just really like the design. The only complaint, like I said, is the Dead Cat. It's very, very hard to fit in and the fur kind of comes off really easily. So maybe get a different Dead Cat that will fit the system. And But other than that, everything, the build quality, the audio quality just sounds really good. It's really effective at reducing vibrations and there's no handling noise problem at all. So it's just a really, really good system. So yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoy. Again, I was not paid or asked by Digital Photo to do this review, so I bought this myself. So I really appreciate it. If you are interested, you use the Amazon link in the description. It's about $200 at the time of this review, which I think it's really, really worth it for what you're getting. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another video.